Hello, this is Vampire. Uh, it's the month of Halloween, so I got to bring out my uh, Vampire t-shirt. Hope you guys are having a good one. Let's get started. Okay, so for today's lesson, we're going to start off with double stick, then we'll go to single stick, and then we're going to incorporate empty hand techniques. Okay, so the first technique, we're going to start off with double sticks. We're going to put it right here. This is what I call the open stance. So from right here, we'll go right hand first. Right hand goes diagonal, diagonal, and then bring the stick right here to where it's horizontal in front of you and then you're going to strike like so and then park one more time diagonal diagonal bring the stick right here right in front and from here strike out and then park let's make it a little bit smoother one two boom and park one two strike right there and park so let's do it with also the left hand. So we just take turns. So now the left hand. One, two. You see I continue the motion on two to where I bring it right here, right in front of me. Strike and then park. And now I can switch to back to the right hand. Diagonal, diagonal, boom, and park. Diagonal, diagonal, boom, and park. One, two, bam, park. One, two, bam and park. One, two, bam, park. One, two, bam, park. See? One, two, bam, park. So from right here, as it gets smoother, we're going one, two. See how my number two takes me right here to this circular motion right here. This is my strike, and then I just unwind back. So one, two, bam, park. One, two, bam, park. So by the time I'm after the strike and I'm bringing my hand back, it's parking naturally. So it feels like a punch. It feels like a punch. It's twisting motion that you're adding in. All right, so please get some reps there. Do like three minutes or five minutes, you know, at a time. That's one round. And see, you know, work your way up to like three rounds or, or see how many rounds you could do. But just get some raw practice like that. All right, so now we're going to go to single hand, okay? Single hand, stick side to the front, and the, the, uh, the hand that's not holding the weapon right in front of the heart. Okay, so just like that. Same thing, same thing. Starting position is the same. So we're just going one, two, bam, and park right here. Diagonal, diagonal strike, and park. One, two, bam, park. One, two, strike, park. One, two, strike, park. Okay, so one, two, three, and park. Those of you that are familiar with the other techniques are probably already seeing that one, two, that's a figure eight motion and then this is basically your fan motion right here coming in and then you unwind and you park. So one, two, three, park. One, two, three, and park. If you're wondering about the footwork, it's just do boxing, kickboxing type footwork where you're just moving around like so, step and slide, step and slide and what you're going to be doing is you look at your opponent and the way they're standing like this so if their right hand is on the front you're going to go this way towards their back you're not going to go this way to where it's the left hand is in the back right here you're not going to go this way because then you have to deal with both weapons so you're always heading towards the back so if the guy's fighting you like this you're going to go this way because his back's right here it's just around the corner so that's the direction you're heading so it's a circular footwork even though you look like you're just moving side to side, actually you're going in a circle. You're trying to go around. So that's the strategy for footwork. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to incorporate the empty hand aspect. So for the empty hand aspect, same technique, same idea. This hand to the front, this hand to the back right here. Diagonal, diagonal, strike, and then we unwind and park right here. So that's the first thing that we do. That's what we've been doing. So one, two, bam, right here. And then from here, what we're going to do is this hand, the stick hand right here, is going to move. I'm expecting their hands to be up or something. The hand's going to be in the way. So we're going to use this stick to move their hands away. Okay, so I'm just using the tip right here. Boom. That's like a magic wand to move their hand, to create an opening. And I'm just using that momentum to throw the punch. So as the stick, so from right here I go one, to bam and instead of immediately parking I'll leave the stick here 
boom. So I'm using the stick to create the opening right there. And using that same momentum as the stick goes, so does my hand right here. So I'm creating an opening, boom, and there goes my punch, okay? Now that's just a concept. You could do many things, okay, using the same idea. It doesn't have to be the top part of the stick that creates the opening. It could be the bottom part right here. So I could scrape using this as a hook to move their arm out of the way, and then my punch comes. Or I can move their hand downwards with the hook downwards and the punch. So either way, the right hand goes and then the left hand goes. So right, left this way, or I could go right, left this way, which is more sideways motion where I'm using the hook in a sideways fashion. So one, two, or I could go downwards, one, two, this way. So see this motion where my hand's going downwards, all right, so the next portion of the technique, I'm assuming that I'm a lot closer in now, so I'm just gonna bring the stick behind their head, grab, boom, and throw the knee, okay? So nice and simple. Right here, behind their head, pull, pull them in, boom, and there goes my knee, just like that. Okay, so uh, now let's combine it with, the, with all the stuff that we just did. So from right here, stick side to the front, okay? We do the diagonal, diagonal strike, remember this? And then from here, I could use the top part of the stick or the back part of the stick to hook, to hook into a punch, or this way, I could use this, the top part, boom, either way, boom. And then from here, this is where the knee comes in, like so. Okay, so one more time. Diagonal, diagonal strike, hook and punch, and then from here, Grab the stick behind and throw that knee. You're just grabbing the stick behind to give you leverage. It doesn't even have to be behind the head. It could be on the shoulder. You're just pulling them using the stick. Because you're pulling them, you're almost like using the stick as an arm. It doesn't have to be this way. You could grip it this way. You're just using the stick to give you some leverage. If it hooks on their shoulder, their arm, it doesn't matter. Just pulling it in. Pulling it in for that knee. All right, so last but not least, I apologize that I can't really show it to you well uh, because of the filming conditions that I'm working with, but what we're going to do is we're going to add a kick, a Thai style kick, okay? So what, what that entails is basically the way we're using the stick here is the stick is going to be the counter movement for the waist coming in this way, okay? So the leg is coming in from over here, so I'm going to kick with my right leg. So my right leg's coming this way, and I'm using the stick as a counterweight to go the opposite way. Okay, so the stick actually can strike. I can strike and boom and land that kick right there. So, ish, like so. So from here, ish. So I grab them, knee them, and then from here, ish. All right, so let's do it from the very beginning. Okay, so like so. From this side, we're gonna go diagonal, diagonal, strike right here. Hook and punch. Grab, throw the knee, and then use the stick as a counterweight to throw that kick. And that's the end of our combo. Okay, so basically you start off with a double stick exercise, then we go to single stick, get some more practice, more exercise, and then just to make it a little bit more realistic, we add in the empty hand element. So thank you for watching, and take care, folks.